am I wearing today? Do not try and come for me if you see me in this because it's just for video purposes and for the purpose and intent of the topic of this video. Right? It is a faux leather kind of mini dress. Absolutely perfect for fall. But you know, you can kind of pull in leather almost anytime you want to. I'll give you the link. It did come from Boutique Jerbyne. Absolutely love her. I know it comes in blue too. And it comes with a belt as well, but I chose to wear it today without a belt. But it's comfortable, it's sexy, and it just gives that, you know, that fall, like, hey, here she come, right? Style is subjective. So what that means is when you are styling your outfit, because it's all about wearing versus styling. Remember that. You can wear an outfit, but once you style it. So I could have just put this on. But I also added a over-the-knee boot. And you know why? Because when the dress is a little shorter and you put an over-the-knee boot, then it takes away the attention from the fact that it is a mini and you still get the sex appeal, but you still feel comfortable in covering up something. Yes, it's a little lower. So if you want to put a tank on, absolutely. Sometimes it depends on occasion and where you're going as well. So just remember, just because it's trending does not mean that that's something that you absolutely have to jump on the bandwagon. I want to talk about the colors and how we pull them together and why you may have a difficult time. Now, anybody that knows me knows that if all else fails, I'm a, I am a monochrome, monochromatic girl. I love it. It just makes you feel very put together and it just kind of elevates how you look. If anybody remembers uh, Michelle Obama at the White House and how she came out in the burgundy, like floor-length maxi wool overcoat and then she had the burgundy turtleneck, the burgundy pants. And so that monochromatic look took off, although it was already a thing, but people just started really jumping on board when they saw that because it's such a classic look. So that's definitely a way to go, but who doesn't like to pull together a little color? So although I have this fall color on and some people may even, if we think about pulling the entire look together. So if I think about the makeup, I love a red lip. It's a great like seasonal look, but it's also, it doesn't go out of season. So this is like Ruby Woo, Ruby Woo by MAC. It is one of my favorites. It always elevates your look, makes you look classic, makes you look crisp, and it just gives you that, mm, you know, that you need. And you can see, see yourself coming a mile away. That red lip, mm. Here she come. And then I have like on these little gold, you know, dupes. They're the Bottega dupes. Everything that I'm talking about, if there's a link, certainly I will link it below. You can be able to get it if there's anything on my Amazon storefront or anywhere else that I shopped, it'll be there. So what I wanna talk about again is how we pull colors together. I wanna say that if you are just really pressed on how do I put something together, then use a color wheel. I will show you a color wheel. Um, I'll kind of put it up here somewhere where you can see the color wheel. And typically how the color wheel works is it's colors that are across from each other. So those colors that are across from each other on the wheel, those are the colors that go well together, whether it's warm, whether it's cool. And then sometimes it works also when it comes to skin tone. So we know our fallback and our default will always be black, right? But you can level up black with color. And so that color wheel will help you with that. But let me preface this and put out a disclaimer. If that's not your style to put colors together, just because it's a trend, just because you see people doing it, that does not mean that you have to do it. Absolutely not. Because one thing you don't want to do is put this entire outfit together because it's trending and now you feel uncomfortable. Thank you again for tuning in and I will talk to you girlies later. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.